What's the haps? I'm Maroku and welcome, welcome back to the final station. We are on our way again once more. Oh, this thing's on the fritz this time. Cargo system. What do I do here? There? How do I do this? Do I have to do something with this? I, I actually don't know what I'm doing here with this one. Um. Oh, each of these. Oh, I think I think each of these fills up. Am I? Do I? I do I have a passenger? Oh, I totally do have a passenger. Where are we going? Great, great. Uh, yeah, each of these is going to charge up over time, and I need to make sure none of them overloads. I guess. And and the one it's set on is the one it's going to charge up. I don't know how I uncharge it though. If it gets too much. Metropole always wants to visit it. Oh, he's ah ah ah. We're over power. I don't know how to. I don't know how to uncharge this. I am. Oh god. Oh, okay, right. Okay, I can drain each of these things. I can drain. Okay. Okay, right. Don't don't suffocate, Mr. Passenger. Okay, I didn't realize that was a button. I just it seemed like decoration. Okay, so each of those charges. All right. We have a message. Tim Lanning. Tim, please, any news from the north? I'm sorry, nothing. I'm stuck in Metropole, they don't let anyone out of here. Is the council still silent? They pretend it's just connection problems. I'm sure they already fled the town. Tim's gone. Let's see if we can get to Tim. Uh, does our man need food? We say when his engine starts. Hang on, let me get you some food. What do they say? The whole world will hear it. I hope there won't be any need for it. It's a very scenic background there. Let's go. Let's go charge as a guardian, I suppose. Ooh, don't know what that entails. Sounds cool, though. Now we are very, very much into uncharted territory. This was not in the preview demo they gave us a while back. Yep, need a code for that. Let's find out what's going on in this part of the world. This is a nice bit of the world. I like this bit of the world. Aside from the fact that everyone's dying, as there seems to be the case everywhere. Um, the, the lakeside views are very pretty. There's some screws. Those are... Oh, those will be good for making ammunition. Oh, I should have done some crafting while I was on the train, shouldn't I? Code red. Retire to shelter immediately. Code red. Okay. Something very much went down here, and everybody's... Presumably we can go find some sort of bunker somewhere. Oh, I can't get into that. Oh. Oh, I need a key to get into... Oh, that's the shelter. It's underneath. Yep. Code red, code red. Canisters are falling. Everybody go hide in the underground shelter, but I can't get to them until I've got a key. Right, right. I presume it's got something to do with canisters. It seems like that would be the likely thing. Okay, uh, jars. I was hoping to find some food in a fridge, frankly. Mike, there's still a problem with the school cook. We need one more month to get him on board. If this can't wait, our only option le left is to eliminate him. It, it, I'm sure there are better ways of dealing with poor chefs. Um, that sounds sinister. Clothing. Rags. Yeah. I don't know why I thought I would find food in the in the bathroom, but man, I need food. Ah, 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 ah. Nope, nope, nope. nope. That, that saved me ammunition, I suppose. Oh, I've got an extended clip as well. I've got eight ammo in there. Shotgun ammo, that's good. That's very valuable as well, actually. I could probably use that in lieu of currency in some ways. When I can just, like, if I could stockpile that without wasting much of it, I can just trade them in at $100 a time. <sighs> there are boxes here. I'm going to need them, right? I'm going to grab one of them. Yep, little one. Okay. And one, two, three, four. I'm going to have to punch, shoot these guys because there's no room to punch them. Yep. Okay. Two bullets. Take out all those. All those ain't, ain't bad. That ain't bad going. So I took so much damage right off the start. Ooh, those are all useful things. Yeah. It's okay. I can get through. It's just a little... Kind of have to, you kind of have to use your health as a resource in some ways, I suppose. Damn, that shouldn't have taken so many shots. See if I can, like, if I can, like, sacrifice a little bit of my health in exchange for taking out two zombies without ammunition. It's okay, as long as I can get to the end of the mission without dying, we're okay. 
BBNG21, $14. Rubik Fake Music Mixtape, $12, Classic Edition, $26. Oh, it's a receipt for somebody who really likes their music. Who's living in... I don't know, the, the building from the outside gives you kind of a vibe of an oldie fashioned -y barn kind of thing. It's evidently not the case, but kind of seemed that way at first. A whole shelf covered in vinyls, I guess? Yeah, okay. Was that one of the ones that took a clipping, clipping... Was that one of the ones that was on there? Bubbing and Rubik, no. And more records, huh. Nope, 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 nope. Actually, yeah, it might have been really... Damn, blew the lights out, that's crazy. Yeah, it might have been a good idea, might, might have been a really bad idea to have shot that guy in the head as well. It's probably too close to call. Um, if I'd shot him in the head, I might have got hit by the blast of that thing, so... Actually, it's probably a good thing I only kind of winged him, because then that triggers kind of his ignition period, I suppose. I'm going to punch the window out because I can. Mary, I don't just sell records for a living here. It's difficult to explain. I can't tell you everything just yet. P.S. Send more photos. Okay. I guess it, we're kind of operating a record shop. I guess, I, oh yeah, it's kind of a... Is that a cashier thing down here? It's not really a till. If there's a till, I should be able to open it, right? Um, it, it also just doesn't look like the tills we saw previously. But yeah, I guess sort of this is house over the record shop. Okay, this is a this is a one way kind of bit, isn't it? I can drop down there. There's no way of getting back up. Yeah, I can't climb that. Chest high walls. I'm basically a space marine. There's a chair. Oh, that's that's a wall I can walk past. I wasn't sure if I could. Okay, so chair needs to be thrown at the little and bam. Okay, then we've got loads of room to back up and punch these guys down. Bam. Gotcha. Nothing. Oh, there's a toilet as well. <laughs> okay. Well, I shall hang on to this in the hopes that I get to throw it to a zombie. There's the, the, I feel like there's something I can search up there, which might be a med kit, but I need to get rid of this toilet first. <laughs> um, okay. Locked? Locked, okay. There's a chair there as well. Okay, that works. One, two, three, four. That's okay. I'll hang fire on the chair, because I might want that for that room. I almost certainly will, but I do need to explore this. Let's see if there's resources. E scraps. Okay, it wasn't a med kit, but it'll go towards making things. That's important. That is important. Uh, hi. Whoop, yep, that's a chair. Chair is useful. Very useful. Oh, so many chairs. I can't pick them up. I can't use these chairs. There's only specific chairs. Only certain chairs are aerodynamic enough to be thrown at a zombie beaning him straight in the head and taking him out. These chairs, these are not aerodynamic chairs. They cannot be thrown. Dennis Morgan, better known as Blacksmith, was born in Winston and placed, by, placed in a local orphanage at a very early age after the tragic death of his parents. He ran away as a teenager and was exiled from his home county for nearly 26 years. During his unusual life, Morgan lived in various cities under false names. Right now, he's known as the chief engineer of the Guardian. Woo, okay, that's quite a prestigious title, huh? Dennis Morgan the blacksmith. Seems like seems like somebody we need to catch up with at some stage. Remember that name? Because I probably won't. Uh, things got messy in here. Um, you. Oop. One, two, three, and a four. Good. As a toilet, I can't just rip up. This is weird how sometimes it lets you pick up toilets as well and throw them. But again, no, that one. I guess I guess some of them have been like ripped from their seams in the destruction of some of these environments. That toilet, that toilet is firmly fixed in place. Ah, okay. Need a need a key of some sort for that. Mark, look, I think you're worrying about nothing. The whole city can't be involved in some sort of conspiracy together. And well, do they really need a regular school cook, Janine? Oh. Hang on, what? There was something going on with the school cook. Okay. So they've hired us. Oh crap, where was it? I thought it was in this building. They mentioned the school cook earlier. They were like, oh yeah, I better get the school cook in line or we're going to have to eliminate him. Oh, something going down there. So somebody's hired a school cook and his wife is like, hang on, 
Well, they, this doesn't seem like a job that requires a school cook. But at the same time... Hmm. I don't know, it's like, well, do they... Do they really need a regular school cook? Sounds like that's worrying about a conspiracy, but uh, the first line is like, Oh, don't worry, it's not a conspiracy. I don't know which side of the table she's coming down on there. I think it's a conspiracy, personally. Uh, don't, don't forget to give the key to the kitchen staff before leaving. They forgot to give the key to the kitchen staff before leaving. <laughs> okay, well that gets me into... probably here. Oh, was this, was this the school? Was this what this was? Is that a, oh, is that a classroom and that's the blackboard and I've been teaching a little bit of chalk there? Ah, uh, it wasn't quite immediately obvious what that was on first glance, but now that you point it out... I see, I see. This, I hope, was the art classroom. Yeah, lots of different classrooms. Ah, oh, it was a school. Huh. Neato. And... Glasses and a spoon. Still can't get through that door. Still won't let you through there. Nothing else going on in here? What's in the basement? It's got to go rummaging around in the basement. You always need to go rummaging around in the basement. Shotgun ammo. Hope I don't need that. I'll continue digging a tunnel to his house tomorrow. There's not much further to go now. I think we can have the wiretap in place by Tuesday at the latest. I feel like there's got to be better ways to, you know, listen in on someone's communications than literally digging a tunnel from underneath the school to the the employee's house. That's... Yeah, that's, uh, that's going pretty conspiracy. Whoa! Ah! 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 Okay. I took a hit, but that's okay. Wasn't expecting quite so many of them. Yeah, maybe I did need that shotgun ammo after all. Okay. Um... I'm getting ready to... I've got so little health, I can't really afford to get jumped by little ones. I need to kind of back up at each doorway. What is this? What is this? Something is closed? Don't know what that is. Shelter status closed. Civilian zero, military zero, unidentified objects, one, two, one, four. Okay. This is the shelter? This is the bunker? Oh! When they came down through their basement, did it lead to here? And this is like the giant underground vault door that everybody... This is some fallout stuff going on in here. That's like a proper freaking vault. Shelter status is closed, but it has 1,214 unidentified things in it. And everybody evacuated down there. And there's no civilians or military down there. Well, there's only a few, a few things that could possibly mean. In fact, there's really only one thing that could possibly mean. Things didn't go so well in the shelter. Clothing. Uh, I'm expecting I'm expecting zombies jumping out of each of these doors. Each of these rooms is getting smaller than the last. Where is this going? Okay, the last bomb. Oh, okay then. So I'm guessing. The government like was like everybody evacuate down into the shelter and from the shelter they were hoping to just detonate what would hopefully need to be the last bomb in the case of you know a zombie outbreak would probably you know cut the bill for something you would need to detonate the last bomb for I think Amanda I sent Jonas to base A1 under the Metropole I hope they'll teach him how to behave PS erase the writing <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I guess that was more what the engineers working on the project uh, colloquially knew it as then. Uh, I need to reload my gun. I have a barrel of oil. Do I need this for something? Or is this a... Oh, damn! Note to self, that's a really good way to kill zombies. Pretty sure I dinged that guy. That guy got shot through. No, nope, still four punches. Okay. There is a chair. I didn't destroy the chair. Don't know if I need the chair now, but... Okay. A rocket is ready to launch. Await the orders. The rocket? What rocket? Is this a rocket? It looks like it looks more like a traditional bomb kind of thing, but then it almost looks more like a kind of a droppy bomb. I guess a bomb that was de designed to be just sort of held underneath the city and exploded 
wouldn't need like tail fins and stabilizers and stuff. That's more sort of like to guide it if you drop it out of a plane, like a World War Two era droppy bomb kind of thing. It, that's that's what it that's what it looks like. Was it meant to be a rocket, but someone like named it a bomb? Is that what it is? It is it is it, is it was the government branding it as a rocket, but actually secretly the engineers working on it were like no, this is this isn't supposed to go into space. This is supposed to explode. And I still don't know what's going on with the school teacher. Man, this world is cray. I probably want that chair, don't I? There's a door up ahead. And there's got me a zombie behind it now? Okay. Oh, hey there. Hello. Don't shoot. Don't or throw a chair at me. Don't throw a chair at me. You're not carrying a gun, but don't throw a chair at me. You're into Metropole? Thank God, I'm, I'm in. Alright. Two pistol ammo, cool. Rags, pills, great. Um, I haven't found a blocker's code yet. That's the concerning part. Well, there's a little bit left to go. Uh, okay. That works. That totally works. Throw a chair at the exploding zombie. It detonates it. Great. Monday transcript. Friday transcript. Are you sure that now is the time for this? Okay, but when? I'd like to wait a little longer. Look, we're waiting for the bus. It's the 30th? Fine, just come quickly. Uh, that's something else I don't have any context for. Oh! Oh, they're wired. they wiretapped the bus station. Oh, right. This is just listening in the conversations of the people. Those are like microphones ha just right underneath the bus station. So, oh, are you sure this now is the time for this? Okay, but when? I'd like to wait a little longer. Look, we're just waiting for the bus. It's the 30th. Fine, just come quickly. Okay. So, someone was waiting for the bus. And someone was like, no, come with me. Come with come now, now, now. You need to come with us. Someone got basically hijacked, taken away, kidnapped from the bus station. Interesting. There's our code that we needed. I can't help but feel that for somebody... Somebody with the time, patience, and more intellect than I to piece together kind of the story of each of these cities. There'd be a lot going on. It'd be fascinating. And all I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting snapshots, bits of this, little bits and pieces. Uh, oh, it's 9672. If someone wants to just sit down and properly figure out what went on in this world, I think it'd be a really, really interesting story to put together. I mean, it's fascinating enough just to see the snippets. I'd be intrigued if uh, anybody following along with this series sort of is putting together things a bit better than I do and can maybe leave their thoughts in the comments as to what's gone down here. Oh, Rocky, hello. Yeah, brand new on the train. Um, hello. Are you with us? Well, he's on the train, isn't he? Yes, sir. I, I mean, yes. What do I got? Oh, it's just oh, it's just this one. I know how to do this one. Oh, you soldier. Uh, no. He's just a hungry man. I'm a mere civilian. He's gonna want food. I mean, I'm an ordinary citizen. You're acting suspicious. I don't like people like you. I can't tell you anything. I got an order. You will hang on a little bit longer. I don't have to tell you anything. He give what does he give us? He gives one something. Booze? It's all clear with you, Greenhorn. Okay, right, feed him up. Uh, I need to I need to do some crafting, don't I? Med kits. Craft, 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 craft. Yep, good. Back. Uh, shotgun ammo. Oh, we can make shotgun ammo. Great. Nice. That probably stops me making that now, doesn't it? Yep. Pistol ammo would have been better, but the shotgun ammo more valuable, as I say, in terms of just trading it for money. And you. I only have half a bottle left. Sorry. I missed a I missed something going there. I mean, are you going to the shelter too? Do, 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 do. That's brilliant. Let's keep people alive and not suffocating. There we go. But the second visitation. 
Are you one of those one of those fanatics? Oh damn, massive capsule in the background. Very easy to miss that if you weren't paying attention. They're already sending out the capsules, you know that. Capsules with beer? Haha, <laughs> I wish. No, the capsules with Come on, I'm kidding. I wanna know what these guys are talking about. Once I also read some stupid books. Okay, I think I think we need to move on. I was hoping they were going to elaborate a little bit more on capsules there, but never mind. Alrighty. And so here we are in the next zone. This one looks a little more. This one looks a little more rural. Cool. Uh, I may actually leave that there for today. That seems like a, not an inappropriate place to leave it. Otherwise, it's going to be a, probably end up winding me winding up being a crazy long episode. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Maroka. I will see you next time.